Hello, and welcome to this week's video. Today, we're going to be looking at my 3D pen. So I bought this a few months ago on Amazon, and I've been waiting to do something with it until I had time to sit down and do a video of it. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. We'll take it down to the art room. We'll get it unboxed, see what comes with it, and then we'll see if I can make something with it. I have watched a few videos online about, you know, with the 3D pens and watched some very talented people make some pretty cool things. But this is going to be my first time. I do have some basic knowledge of it, but I've never tried one at all. So I got the 3D Pen-2 Draw Your Dream. Don't know much about it, but it had pretty good reviews, so hopefully it's decent. I also got this filament pack. It has 24 unique different colors. I don't know if we'll get into this today, but I wanted to let you know I did buy both, and we'll go from there. All right, see you guys down to the art table. All right, let's take a look at what comes in the 3D Pin Dash 2 Draw Your Dream. All right, so we've got, oh, how to make an Eiffel Towel. Towel, tower, tower, easy for me to say. So we can make an Eiffel Tower. So we need to do four of those and two of each one of those, I think. That's really all the instructions it gives us, but it might be something uh, worth trying, but I'm gonna make a monster. Then, oh, it's Canbor 3D pin dash two, but this time it's Roman numeral two. I don't see Canbor anywhere on here. Um, we got some pictures of some of the stuff of how to feed in the filament here. Uh, maybe it's, is it wireless? I, didn't, I, I guess I don't even know what I bought. So it says read instructions before operating. That might be a good plan. So, well, that's in Chinese. Um, here we go. And that is way, well, not way too small for me to read, but it's pretty close. Thank you for purchasing. In order to have a great time with the Canbor 3D printing pen, please read the user manual carefully before using it. All right, I'm not going to waste your time on this. We'll get it unboxed. I'll flip through this before I start on my monster, and we'll go from there. Um, it does give us a little bit of filament, so I'll probably just go ahead and try out what they gave us. Um, I read PLA is better. I don't know anything about it. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to pretend I do. But I went ahead and got PLA for my other one and I heard that's what was best for these. So we do have some sample filament that's PLA here. Oh, so it's not wireless. I've got a power supply. So, and I only have one plug-in in my art room. So hopefully, it looks like this is gonna be a pretty long power supply, so I think I'll be okay. I can kind of move my desk around if needed. But yeah, so I don't know how long this is, but it'll be plenty of length. So we've got our power supply. We've got this nice little stand. I kind of like it, it's simple, but it should look nice on the desk. And then last, we have our 3D pin by Cannivore. Not to be confused with cannibal or carnivore, but cannivore. And I'm probably pronouncing that wrong because that's what I do. And I think it's, yep, it's open on this end. So, I'm assuming that's to advance. Oh no, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I better read those instructions. I'm assuming that's advance and that's like unload the filament. Maybe this is a temperature setting. It says 3D pin, input 12 volt DC, filament diameter 1.75 millimeters. Made in China. R O H S C E. And no trash. I don't know. No recycle? Um, all right. I don't know, I guess that matches up with the color. 
Kind of would have liked one of these other ones, but well, I don't know. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. Get that there. All right, I'm gonna take a break, look at the instructions, get my art table set up to try out the 3D pin. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm not done with the instructions yet, but I did want to jump back on and kind of show you they did have a diagram so I can actually tell you what this stuff is instead of just uh, guessing. So the power jack is at the back. It has the filament insert port on the uh, kind of back top, like I had said. The LED screen, it doesn't specify what that does. Uh, this is the reverse button and the forward button, like I had thought. And this on the other side, so this one here is a speed control on how fast it pushes the filament out. And then it has a little <coughs> heat dispersion vent or dispersion port there. And then of course the nozzle. And then also uh, it's good to know, warning, Carbore 3D printing pin is suitable for children aged above eight years and adults. Underage children can operate it with adult supervision. So if you guys wanna try this out and you're you know, letting your kids do it, make sure to keep an eye. I'm assuming it's very similar to a heat gun I mean a glue gun where that tip is going to get really really hot and definitely could burn uh, young kids and adults so be careful with that all right i'm going to finish these up we'll get set up and see what i can make all right i've got the 3d pin loaded up i went through the instructions briefly um, the little led readout here you can kind of see it that shows the temp and it also shows what kind uh, filament you have in there so you have to make sure you select PLA um, now it's going to sleep because I've loaded up and got everything set up it took me too long so let's get it back up to temp went ahead and loaded it up with some color I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try I went ahead and grabbed my scissors and then a big like campfire lighter I use that to you know I, I, I've seen other people use that to smooth out so I thought I'd use that to kind of smooth out some of the draw lines if I need to. I don't know, I just figured I'd have it ready. And then I've got this foil ball ready I thought I would cover and use as the base of some kind of creature. I'm not gonna time lapse this, but it'll probably take longer uh, than I want it to for the video link, so I'll probably like speed it up maybe two times or four times or whatever necessary. And so down in the corner here, I will put uh, what speed just so you can get an idea kind of how long this actually takes. All right, I'm gonna give this a try and see what I can come up with.
All right, so I've made something with my 3D pen. Um, I, you know, originally I wanted to do some kind of monster because there is no right or wrong, and there obviously is, you know, no wrong on this guy. Um, he's not exactly what I was hoping for. So I'm gonna go quickly through my experiences with my, you know, my first experiences with 3D pen. Uh, one, and this should be pretty obvious, but it is not as easy as they make it look on those videos. I mean, you just see the guys and they're just brrrr. I don't know if that's the sound it makes, but you know, mine was like a And so <laughs> it was definitely uh, a lot trickier. I felt like I was kind of sculpting with frosting or, or, you know, like coming out of the tubes or, or like, you know, a thin uh, layer of like toothpaste. It was a lot trickier than I thought it would be. I don't know why I thought it would be easier, just because, you know, it just looks easier on TV. Um, I am, you know, I did enjoy it. It was definitely fun, so that's a bonus. I do think, you know, there's potential for me to try some more projects with it. Um, I honestly don't know if the pin I got, you know, is, is any good. I'm assuming it is because of the reviews. So I'm just gonna assume the issues I had are because of my lack of experience with it, and that's totally fine. I mean, like I said, this is my very first project. It is kind of a neat little monster guy. I think in future ones, I might, you know, if I was gonna do an eye, I might do it different. I might get a pre-made eye or make the eye out of something else. I don't really like the way the pupil is on this, but you know, he's, he's kind of a fun, freaky little guy. Um, I'm gonna try some different things. I have some ideas, and I'll try those out. And if I, you know, get one, if when we'll say it, when we'll be positive. When I get a little more proficient with this, I will do some time lapse of it and let you know my thoughts on the 3D pin after a little more experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a like down below. And uh, please give me a comment. If you have experience with a 3D pen, please give me your input. Tell me what I did wrong, because I know there's got to be several things I did wrong on it. And uh, any tips, pointers, anything. Also, if you, you know, enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Monday. And I think that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. And remember, never stop creating. Bye.